A bloody rampage across two Southern California cities. Two people are dead, three more wounded, and what investigators say was a deadly stabbing and shooting spree. The violent incidents happening in Oxnard and Camarillo with law enforcement responding to multiple crime scenes. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Caputo live in Camarillo tonight with new information. Tim. And Mark, you see behind me still a very active crime scene here tonight. And detectives will likely be here until the early morning hours. This is one of two scenes where they've investigated homicides today. They are connected. They say the same suspect is responsible for both of these crimes. And while detectives at this point not releasing a whole lot of specifics when it comes to these crimes, with two people dead and three people injured, they do say the suspect knows all the victims. Police tape as far as the eye can see in this normally quiet Camarillo neighborhood. This is a great area. Um, we we have this sheriff station, which is about a block away, and it's super quiet back here. This close-knit community was the final stop in a violent Ventura County crime spree that left two people dead, and law enforcement believes one man is responsible for it all. The attacks began just outside of Oxnard, inside a car on Rice Avenue. Ventura County Sheriff's Department says a man and a woman were in a car with 42-year-old Alvin Otis Johnson. The woman wasn't hurt, but deputies say Johnson repeatedly stabbed the man who later died. Johnson allegedly drove off in that same car and ended up at a condo in Camarillo. Hours later, another victim walked into that nearby police station badly injured. And he claimed he was beaten by an individual, uh, a known individual, with a pistol, essentially pistol whip. Deputies quickly got to the home and say Johnson was outside with a gun in his hand. He gave up and was arrested. You could see that handgun sitting in the grass outside the home. When deputies went inside the condo, they made a grisly discovery. A 75-year-old woman also killed, allegedly at the hands of Johnson. It's not clear at this moment in time whether these are gunshot wounds or inflicted from some other weapon or device. Those who live near the scene of the second murder say everyone who lived there was friendly and welcoming. There's often a lot of people hanging out at the yeah. house, but I don't know. I don't, I'm not familiar with them. They say hi and stuff. Yeah, but I don't they're know them. friendly. I mean, as far as I've never, there's never been any um, thing that altercations that we've ever noticed. So. Detectives haven't released what led up to either attack, only saying this was not random. It sounds like drugs played a factor. Uh, and the question I know you're going to ask is, what's the connection with this suspect to this residence here on Huerta? They do have a loose affiliation with each other. Now, while deputies haven't released an exact motive or what really led up to those crimes in the moments before they happened, they do have witnesses to both of them, the woman who was in the car in Oxnard and a whole bunch of people who were in the home here behind me. They will surely be speaking to them to figure out exactly what led up to both of these attacks. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.